Hey, Cindy here. Welcome to my 1950s home. It's a great place, but the kitchen, well, not so much. You gotta see it to believe it, but I'm so excited. We're finally getting that redo I've been waiting for, and I'm gonna take you along the entire ride with me. So come on inside. Let the dreaming begin. I'm a big fan of going to as many stores love shopping, especially when you're dreaming up something as big as a kitchen. There's so many great ideas out there, it can be really overwhelming. I'm a big fan of Consumer Reports, and so before I buy anything, I always go to consumerreports.org. They have no bias, and you can kind of do your own research to see how everything compares in terms of anything for your home. And there's so many decisions, but I think that you have to kind of put it in perspective with to-do lists. And so I like starting with how do you use the space? What do you not like about your old kitchen? And at the end of the day, do you also have the budget for it? So we're trying to make all that work together. We took your homework assignment of shopping very seriously. Good. I mean, I did. I love it. <laughs> but there's more than the fun part. We've got to get serious the reality of picking cabinets, countertops, and appliances. That's correct. There's going to be a couple of the appliances that are going to be built into the cabinetry. Okay. So it's really important that those are selected. We cannot go any further until this one is decided. The appliances are really the workhorses of the kitchen, so how to choose them? Yes, you want to figure out how they're going to look, but also how they're going to perform, how the features will really accommodate your lifestyle and how you use your kitchen. I mean, it's all about how you like to cook, how you like to clean. Well, who likes to clean? But you have to clean. <laughs> Very nice choice in color, don't you think? After a lot of shopping and looking at a lot of appliances, I've reached my decision. I have chosen the GE Cafe line. First of all, I think that our kitchen's going to look like it says, a cafe bistro, which I love. It's very informal, fun for entertaining. It's going to function like how I live. The refrigerator is gonna solve a lot of our problems from the deli drawer to the lighting. It's gonna be so much easier to clean. The GE Cafe line is gonna take my cooking experience from a four star to a five. So get ready, Emeril, I'm taking you down. So I reached out to the folks at GE to tell them that I'm going with their cafe line for my kitchen, and they were kind enough to invite me to their headquarters to get a first-hand look. Welcome to Global Headquarters for GE Appliances and Lighting. This is where they make dishwashers and a number of appliances, and I'm really excited to take you behind the scenes right now to see the makings of a great kitchen, including mine. Come on with me. Dan Goldstein is with me, and you know, you've probably heard about my 1970s dishwasher. <laughs> mine at home, we can't even dare to try to put the plates in the different slots without really almost pre-washing them. It's not the case anymore. We've got great new products that are launching. We have new tactile control controls on the top here. Rack's designed for dishes of all shapes and sizes and a utility shelf that you can use. You can put the wine glass in there and it'll get it perfectly clean. This is the, what, 20 pounds? I don't know, but it's a heavy griddle. Should and it says arm. use only with griddle control. This is a different You've kind of You've got griddle control. control. <laughs> I can fill a pitcher right there? You can fill your pitcher so we can put water bottles. Do margaritas come out of there? They do, they do. Really? They do. You just have to push the margarita button. Okay. <laughs> So I'm in the Monogram Experience Center and where the GE Monogram chefs whip up their magic constantly for appliance dealers, designers, where they experience the appliances firsthand. I got to, so come on in. Tomatoes, a little yeah, bit of acidity. Sir. Heirloom tomatoes from here in Kentucky. These things are awesome. So go ahead and give that a little stir. All we right. want to get all that emotion and flavor on that pasta. Oh, we got emotion. All right. I'm feeling it. You were taught to never use a microwave. Oh, it was a bad word. And now... We had a learning curve to go through. We really did, but boy, we love it now. Advanium is four ovens in one. It's a speed cook oven. It's a true European convection oven. It's a fully censored microwave. And it's also a warming proofing oven. So it gives you a lot of versatility to cook up to four times faster than your traditional oven. It does do some things that no other microwave can do, such as cook steak. These turned out wonderfully. Look at that. Nice medium Perfect. Mmm. Jan, I had a fabulous experience at GE headquarters in Louisville, Kentucky. I didn't do the bourbon, but we got bacon drunk. 
Bacon, bacon drunk? drunk. They're all about cooking with bacon and butter and don't get me started. Right. I got to actually cook <laughs> with some of their GE chefs. It was so much fun. That's great. And the refrigerator's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. The dishwasher's gonna be awesome for all of our stainless steel. Okay, so here we are, we're ready for the next step, which is the demolition. demolition. Are you scared? Nah, you will be.